The EFCO Cunningham Parking Garage System is the most innovative garage beam and slab system on the market today. This system can provide the lowest in-place concrete costs on your cast-in-place, post-tensioned parking garages. EFCO owns the Cunningham system, originally developed in the 1960s as the most innovative garage beam and slab system ever. EFCO improved the system by engineering the original two-piece beam form into a three-piece for varying width and depth adjustments. It has long been recognized as the leading parking garage forming system in the construction industry. EFCO provides you with a support team ready to service your project and answer your forming questions. The members of your EFCO team for your project are the district engineer to assist with engineering questions and form erection drawings, the plant manager for questions regarding shipments and returns of equipment, an EFCO field service representative for all on-site planning, form erection and cycling support, and the district sales administrator as our connector for all EFCO services and to answer billing questions. Feel free to call directly to your EFCO wraparound support team anytime you have any questions. EFCO's innovative Cunningham system is designed for easy assembly and high productive cycling. The three-piece beam design provides easier handling, better storage capability, and most importantly, added versatility. Let's take a look at the basic components of the system. The versatile three-piece beam form is adjustable in both height and width. It easily accommodates beam widths of 14, 16, 18, 20, and 24 inches and beam depths of 30, 32, 34, and 36 inches with its adjustable soffit and side panels. With this flexibility, the Cunningham system eliminates the need for other beams. Its tapered shape provides stripping relief that other beam forms can't. EFCO's steel forms cut down on finishing costs by leaving a smooth, high-quality finish with no bolt holes, providing big savings on finishing costs. Column capitals include EFCO handy form panels, a friction collar, and a column entry form and column entry support. This four-sided addition to the top of a column adjusts to your beam width and depth. The innovative hinge beam assembly allows the shore frames to swing and attach to the bottom of the beam form, so they do not need to be disassembled. This big labor savings requires fewer workers and eliminates the need to raise and lower top jacks or remove the deck support beams. Lightweight cross braces and diagonal braces provide stability to the shore frames and a 22 kip swivel base jack allows the system to work on all normal slopes typically found in parking garages. The ledger beam bracket can bolt in different configurations, allowing depth joists from 6 and 1 half inch E-beams to 20 inch truss joists. The deck is constructed of EFCO patented E-beams and contractor supplied plywood. The E-beam has no wood nailer strip, but its lightweight galvanized steel allows plywood to be attached with nails or screws. The connection holds three to four times more than a wood nailer strip with the same fastener. Nail options for a single pour have a pull-out force between 160 and 180 pounds. Other nail options for a more durable setup and multiple pours have a pull-out force between 365 to 410 pounds. In addition, screw options have a pull-out force between 500 and 525 pounds. Fasteners easily hammer into E-beams, but you may consider the labor-saving cost of a nail gun or automatic feed screw gun depending on your job requirements. Deck anchor retainers hold the deck panel in the poured position while the beam form is stripped and cycled. The panels can be moved in large 8-foot sections in the full width of the bay, saving on labor costs. The EFCO Cunningham E-beam deck ledger supports the deck when forms are set and the anchor retainer holds the deck in place while the beam form is stripped. There are several important advantages to cast in place post-tensioned parking garages over pre-cast or steel structures. Post-tensioned concrete is much more durable than a pre-cast structure, saving on maintenance costs. They don't have the problems of rust, caulking and cracking that pre-cast garages do. You won't have to go back and reprime steel plates that were welded. In addition, cast-in-place garages allow contractors to do the work on their own schedule rather than the pre-casters. The EFCO Cunningham parking garage system can be moved from one pour to the next with forklifts, dollies, and cranes if the contractor chooses. This can reduce your labor costs by 33 to 50 percent 
compared to conventional forming methods. The system has been further enhanced through EFCO's innovative engineering to be the most cost-effective choice. These innovations include the three-piece design for easier handling, better storage capability, lighter weight, and varying depths. For more information, see EFCO's Cunningham Parking Garage System catalog for item numbers, descriptions, and accessories. The EFCO Cunningham Parking Garage System, the most innovative and efficient garage beam and slab system ever. EFCO strives to provide you with the best value and lowest in-place concrete costs on your project. Please call directly to your EFCO wraparound support team when you need them. Thank you, and we are also available and want to help you on your next project. The EFCO Cunningham Parking Garage System can provide the lowest in-place concrete costs on your cast-in-place post-tension parking garages. With years of innovative concrete forming and shoring products, EFCO offers the Cunningham Parking Garage System. And now, EFCO's series of safety and training videos will share with you detailed demonstrations of the best methods for assembling and cycling the EFCO Cunningham System. This video will focus on safety and reducing labor costs on your project. As with all forming and shoring equipment, safety is everybody's job. You must observe and follow all safety guidelines and applicable codes at all times. Caution: OSHA requires the employer to provide a safe working environment. Contractors must provide a means of preventing falls around holes in the floor and around perimeter of the structure. While the EFCO Cunningham parking garage system may be cycled quickly, concrete strength is critical. The EFCO Cunningham parking garage system permits early removal of forming materials with the post-tensioning system. It is the contractor's responsibility, relying on job site engineering personnel, to assure that the concrete strength is sufficient to resist forces at all steps in the forming process. This includes supports under the slab shoring system as well as the reshoring of previously poured slabs. Warning: This video is created to show how garage forms are used. Guardrails around the perimeter have not been shown so we may see the forming details and operations of lift trucks as an example. Remember to observe and follow all safety guidelines and applicable codes at all times. Think safety and work safely. Let's begin with detailed step-by-step -step assembly and cycling instructions of the EFCO Cunningham Parking Garage System. Beam Form Buildup, Step 1. Construct four-foot-tall sawhorses and space them a distance center to center equal to the beam soffit form lengths. Step 2. Place and loosely bolt together the beam soffit forms with EFCO quick bolts and nuts. When the complete soffit assembly is in place, Tighten quick bolts and check for straightness with a string line. Shim as needed and re-tighten, checking for straightness one more time. Step 3. Place the first side beam form in place and loosely bolt to soffit form. Place the opposite side beam form and loosely bolt to soffit form. Repeat with remaining side beam forms, loosely bolting the vertical beam joints together as they are set in place. Step 4. Once the beam forms are completely assembled, tighten the beam form joints across from each other. Recheck the entire beam form for proper alignment and bolt the end beam form to the end of each beam assembly. Step 5. Bolt the hinge beam to the beam soffit with two EFCO quick bolts. Spacing is critical and will vary with different beam specifications. Refer to your EFCO supply direction drawings for spacing details for the specific beam being built. Add beam side struts and the side strut shoe assembly. Step 6. Add the ledger beam brackets using four EFCO quick bolts and top jack assemblies to the hinge beams. Proper direction of the ledger is critical. Refer to EFCO erection drawings for correct orientation. Step 7. 
Add support beams to the top jack assemblies and secure in place. Raise the beam forms from the sawhorses with a forklift. The EFCO Cunningham parking garage system can be moved from one pour to the next with forklifts, dollies, and cranes if the contractor chooses. Warning! Forms carried with a crane or other vehicles are considered a suspended load and are a crush hazard. Do not get under crane loads. Step 8. Add a 22K shoring frame with diagonal braces. Move beam form to desired location and it is ready to lift into place with a forklift. Beam form installation. Step 1. Install the column capital prior to beginning beam installation. Move the beam form with forklifts to the pour location. While in the dollies, raise the beam above the top of the capitals with the weight of the beam balanced between two forklifts. Step 2. Using forklifts, work the beam form down to proper column alignment with the form centered between the columns. Set the beam form lightly on the entry form, holding its weight on the forklift. Leave a small gap between the column and the end beam to provide stripping relief after post-tensioning. Step 3. Lower all shore frames. Bolt on diagonal braces at each end. Lower the bottom jacks to the floor slab and snug the one center frame and the two end frames first. Plumb and level each additional shore frame. Lower the forks out from under the beam form. Step 4. Center the beam and form end to end between columns. Adjust to grade by using diagonal braces and jacks. Install cross braces on center load frame. Snug all bottom jacks tight to take the load. Block off end of beam form to column. After two beams are placed, you are ready to begin the deck panel installation. Deck panel buildup. Step one, build an assembly template table using EFCO E-beams and contractor supplied plywood. Add a plywood stop, E-beam stop, ledger locator and retainer locator. Check dimensions of each. Accuracy is critical. This template will be used in the buildup of all the deck panels. Step 2. Add an E-beam deck ledger and anchor retainer onto the assembly table. Step 3. Load E-beams onto the assembly table in designated slots and use EFCO quick bolts to fasten to the E-beam deck ledgers. Bolt on the deck anchor retainer and square the assembly. Step 4. Add plywood to the assembly table and nail or screw the plywood to the E-beams. Drill a hole for the anchor retainer bolt, spray the plywood face sheet with a form release agent, and then remove the finished deck panel with a forklift to the deck panel dolly for installation. Plywood attachment options. Nail options for a single pour have a pullout force between 160 and 180 pounds. Other nail options for a more durable setup and multiple pours have a pullout force between 365 to 410 pounds. In addition, screw options have a pullout force between 500 and 525 pounds. Fasteners easily hammer into E-beams, but you may consider the labor-saving cost of a nail gun or automatic feed screw gun depending on your job requirements. EFCO recommends eight nails or screws per sheet of plywood. The fewer fasteners you use, the easier your disassembly will be. Once all of the deck panels are assembled, use a forklift to move the deck panel dolly loaded with assembled panels to the pouring location. Deck installation. Step 1. Raise the deck panels and set them into place. This procedure will require two forklift trucks. With one forklift, raise and set a stack of panels from the deck panel dolly to the far end of the bay on top of the support frame beams. Return to stock bays for more panels. Step 2. With the second forklift, set the panels into final position on the stringers by removing all but one panel from the stack and setting them down next to the previous panel. Repeat until all panels in the stack have been set. Your forms are now ready to pour. The EFCO Cunningham parking garage system is fast and simple to cycle. Once the concrete has reached sufficient strength as determined by the job site engineer, you can begin the stripping operations. Warning! 
Slab edge protection and guard rails are not shown in this video so we can see forming details. Guard rails and fall protection are required by contractor. Step 1. The day after pouring and before stressing the cables, remove the friction collar, column entry form and capital form. Cycle these ahead to the next pour. Step 2. Remove the cross braces from the center frames and push pull braces from each end of the beam. Set aside for storage inside the beam form when it is lowered. Step 3. After stressing the cables, release all but the center shore frame bottom jacks and raise them one inch above the floor slab. Swing up all the other shore frames to the beam soffit and secure with chains. Step 4. Place beam dollies on the forks of a forklift at proper location to let the beam form come down without the support beam hitting the forklift. Raise the adjustable beam dolly and support the weight of the beam form. Notice, never place the forklift on the uphill side of the beam in ramp areas. Always place the forklift on the downhill side of beam. Step 5. Release and swing up the center frame and secure with chains. Generally, the weight and tapered shape of the beam form will be enough to strip it. However, if the form is stuck, you can place a hydraulic jack on a stripping saddle at one end of the beam to release it. Lower the beam to the floor. Step 6. Spray form face sheets with F-Coat form release agent before the first use and clean an oil between every pour. You wouldn't run your car without oil. That's essentially what you're doing when you don't clean and oil your forms between every reuse. Spraying the face sheet with a form release agent creates a smooth, superior concrete finish. Step 7. Place the cross bracing and push-pull braces into the beam form for moving. Use a forklift to move the beam to the next pour location. The nature of the sloping ramps of the garage allows the forms to easily be moved to the next level with a forklift. Step 8. To strip the deck panels, raise the stripping frame up tight against the edge of the E-beams. Remove the anchor bolt, strip the deck and bring the frame down to the floor. Remove the panel from the frame and stack on the deck panel dolly for cleaning. Be sure to only stack the deck panels four high on the dolly. Step 9. Clean and oil panels. Once the panels are clean, spray the plywood with F-Coat form release agent. Step 10. Move the stack of deck panels on the dolly to the next pouring location. A job site specialist is required. Step 11. Because reshoring depends on the early strength of concrete, a specialist employed by the contractor must evaluate the strength of concrete and the reshore system before removing shores, installing reshores, and placing concrete above. The specialist shall determine the levels of shoring and reshoring to safely support the fresh concrete, and the specialist shall determine the age of the concrete when stripping and reshoring operations may proceed. Disassembling decks. If you've used nails to attach the plywood to E-beams, turn the table upside down. Remove the deck anchor, anchor retainer, and deck studs. Then, using a 2x4 as a lever, place one end into one of the large E-beam holes and roll the E-beam onto its side, forcing the nails free. If you attach the plywood with screws, position the table plywood side up. Clear the concrete from the screw heads and remove them from the plywood. Then remove the bolts from the E-beams and the anchor retainer. The fewer fasteners you have used, the easier it will be. Most users have found a maximum of eight fasteners for each 4x8 sheet of plywood is adequate. EFCO Cunningham Parking Garage System – the most innovative and efficient garage beam and slab system ever. For more information, see EFCO's Cunningham Parking Garage System catalog for item numbers, descriptions, and accessories. Feel free to call directly to your EFCO wraparound support team anytime you have any questions. It is EFCO's form equipment designs that deliver the best value and lowest in-place concrete costs. Thank you, and we're also available and want to help you on your next project. <music>